Uh, now, for some folks, you know, they're looking ahead for maybe some snow. Yeah. Not everybody wants it, but maybe everyone's going to get just a bit. Yeah, so yesterday we actually saw a few snowflakes mm -hmm. oh, mixed in some. the rain that was unexpected. We saw a little more moisture than we were expecting, and today we're going to see some more snow in the forecast for parts of the lowlands. So let me take you out to downtown Seattle. We're dry here, no snow in downtown Seattle, but this could change later on early this afternoon into the evening hours. We could see some snow flurries in downtown Seattle, but it's quiet. It's chilly right now in Seattle. Live look at radar. Notice just to our north, though, we are seeing a few rain showers. Some of this could mix in with a little bit of snow. Temperatures are safely above freezing. No accumulations right now in King or Snohomish County, but you can see there are a few rain showers. There were some reports a little bit earlier of a rain snow mixture in Monroe. We'll continue to keep an eye on that, but right now just very spotty rain showers for the lowlands a little bit farther north. Notice near Granite Falls. I just took a look at the tower cam there. It looks like all rain, but there are some indications that it's trying to mix in with a few snowflakes as well. Arlington dry, but a few rain showers working their way in from the northwest, and that will continue over the next couple of hours. Getting some reports from viewers as we work our way into uh, Ferndale as well as Bellingham of that possibility of some light snow flurries there, and those temperatures are really starting to fall across northern parts of Puget Sound. Elsewhere across the area, notice that the shower activity is pretty spotty. There are uh, a little more uh, snow showers developing in the Cascades as well, and that's going to be the case throughout the day. So passes are going to go downhill. Temperatures right now, I know it doesn't look too cold or feel too cold. It, it is chilly, though, especially with the winds, but the temperatures are the warmest right now. They're going to be all day. Temperatures quickly fall throughout the day as an Arctic cold front moves through, and by this evening, temperatures are going to be in the 20s in Bellingham with wind chills below zero by tomorrow morning. Wind chill advisory goes into effect at 7 p.m. for Whatcom County. Everett temperatures also come down. Notice snow enters the forecast this afternoon, and that's going to be the case here in Seattle as well, starting out as rain, but then we see that rain-snow mixture later on this afternoon. So let's take a look at the future radar. We have a few of the spotty lowland rain showers and snow this morning, but that really starts to pick up by later morning around 11 a.m. Notice that we see some of the snow activity near Port Angeles, so from Forks to Port Angeles and eventually Discovery Bay. The foothill communities of King as well as Snohomish County is also getting in on that snow by late morning. And then watch what happens by early this afternoon. This is 2 p.m. We see that convergence zone activity between Mount Vernon and Everett. This is going to be snow, and that's gradually going to shift south towards Seattle later on afternoon into the early evening hours. So this is 6 p.m. You can see that convergence zone snow right along the King Snohomish County line that will also move into the uh, foothill communities and the passes, and that could continue into the evening hours for Seattle, dumping some accumulations. Not going to be significant accumulations, but notice between Seattle and Everett, it could see half an inch, maybe upwards of an inch of snow if you get under that convergence zone. Also along 101 from Port Angeles to, to Discovery Bay, could see one to two inches of snow. Additional snow works its way into the forecast on our Tuesday. Seven day forecast is looking chilly. Temperatures going down today, Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to spend the day in the 20s for highs.